All right, guys. Today we uh, going to go big or go home. So, uh, but I was wanting to do something. Uh, I had a couple questions. Exactly how I use my Patriot barber. Let me show you what I have done with these barbers. Uh, these I pull these like planer boards, and I added me a clip on here. And I added another clip for the planer board clip. This is line clip and planer board. I'm going to show you exactly how I put these right here out. And uh, today, we're going to be fishing with perch and uh, gizzard shad. But uh, you can see the size of the bait that we're going to be using. I mean, that's big bait. I mean, we're fishing with uh, palm-sized bait. how I use these Patriot Barber floats. Now what I'm going to do is throw this out about as far as I can throw these straight out the back. And let them sink. This is about 60 foot out, so I'm, I'm, I'm wanting it about 80 to 100 feet, so I'll pull some line out. Now I'm going to show you how I hook these up. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Alright, now the way that I do these is I take this small clip right here and I put it on the line. Just like that right there. Then I take the red clip. When I'm dragging baits, these clips has got a little nipple in them. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to go behind that nipple because I don't want it to pull loose. Now if I, if I was suspending and wanted uh, let it anchored and if I was suspending let my bait get out where I want then I would hook it in the front clip and I'd give the rod a snatch a real hard snatch to pull it loose from this red clip and your bait will fall right where it's supposed to be. But when I put that right there out, I don't cast these bobbers. When I put that on right there, I just drop it out the back of the boat right there. Right there just let it pull out the back. So, uh, and I'll let that get out about, well this one I'll let it get out about 100 foot. Then the other one I'll just let, when I throw it out, then when I hook the float on it, then I'll just let it go out about 50 foot behind the boat. So, uh, stay with us. Let's see if we can put some fish in the boat. Okay guys, let me show you uh, on these Patriot Barbers what I got here. Now you can see, I'm hoping you can see it. Let me move the rod so you can see something move out there. There's the short one right there. Actually I got it out there about 60 feet. Let me reel it in just a little bit. It's about 60, no it's probably more than that. That one's, that's probably about 80 feet. Is, is uh, about a hundred feet. I've got three boards. I don't know if you see in the sunlight, but I got three blue boards over yonder, and I have got uh, three red boards over here. So uh, stay with us. That's what we're doing today. Pulling boards and barbers. This one. That one. Yeah. I think Ethan might have fish on. Real.
going home. was on a small smaller piece of perch that wasn't on no big bait so that might be something for me to look at okay it's yours now i'm gonna film you when you stick your hand in there you grab it like a man he's gonna bite down no, pick it up under his belly. You want me get him out of the net for you? Yeah, because he's biting the net. Wait, no, You got him now. You got him. You got him. You need to be out of the net. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, put that bad boy back in there. Don't you fall in with him. Good job. Here you go. Here, you should climb. Stay with us. We're still after a great old big one, but that no loop. Okay, guys, what it is, this today, we ha I hadn't got to fish last couple of weeks. So it's been, I've missed two weekends, and I ain't done that in a long time. But, but uh, the holidays is over now, and uh, today is July, January. I mean January. So yeah. Here to keep me straight. He's going to keep me straight. It's, uh, January the second, and we have had a lot of rain the last two or three days. And it rained last night. I mean, some hard rain for about I don't know six, seven miles. And uh, but uh, the water is muddy. There's trees floating, trash. And especially this area where I'm fishing, it's one of the smaller rivers than than the, the big river. The big river, so much trash coming down it that you could, couldn't fish it at all. But they still trash coming down this, and these trees and everything else coming down, but not quite as bad. So, and plus it, the water's, the water, it's muddy over here, but it ain't too bad. But the, the other river, the big river over there, it's just, you can't even get a bait down, it's muddy. You can track a deer going across that water over there. So, uh, so we over here trying to give it a try. We put one good one in the boat. So we, we're going to see if we can put some more in the boat. Just thought I'd give y'all the heads up on what was going on. This is muddy conditions. And uh, you can still catch some good fish in, in water like this right here, dragon baits. So uh, you might not catch many, but we was coming for big fish, big fish only. And uh, we put 133 in the boat, so we've done good. So stay with us. Uh, we got a fish.
off this one. Cram it. Cram it. There's Ethan. Boy, he's putting no hurting on them today. Good job. Good job. on them ain't we all right stay with us we're gonna try it again <coughs> okay guys now whether the conditions are and the fish that we've caught have been covered in mud so now the, now this is my way of thinking I see, we got plenty of current i mean uh they're the, the, they're releasing some water down to them they pull a lot of current after all the rain and this is muddy conditions but these fish are covered in mud. So my way of thinking, and it's worked for me, is that uh, I slow my boat down even more. And I ain't even got a drift sock out because there's so much current that it pulls me, I, it keeps my boat straight. But, but I am doing 0.2 mile an hour. And my way of thinking, these fish is buried up in the mud when you're going that slow and you're dragging that dragon weight across them fish, it's going to cause them to move. And if it causes them to move, the opportunity's there for them to bite the bait and let them know that the bait's there. And, uh, I mean, that's just my way of thinking, and I hope it helps you. So uh, stay with us. Let's see if we can put some more boat, uh, fish in the boat. All right, guys, me and Ethan, or Ethan and I, has had a halfway decent bay of fish. We was going to go big or go home and we caught some pretty good sized fish. They weren't monsters, but they were some good fish. So, in pretty rough conditions as far as uh, muddy conditions and trash. And, and of course, boulders in January. Just imagine that. So, uh, so we're going to call it a day it's going on one o'clock we didn't get into water about 8 30 so so we had a pretty good little day we're gonna go home and enjoy the rest of the weekend and i hope y'all enjoyed this video